today, students were asked to actually create a periodic table. They were each given an element. Each atom that they were shown actually showed the number of energy rings and its famous electrons. They were asked to go to the board today and actually recreate the periodic table, but they were not able to look at the periodic table. They had to use the number of energy rings and the valence electrons to determine a pattern for a correct order in which the atoms might be listed. Who's got 12? Here's 12. I got 20. 13. Although Mendeleev is probably the most credited scientist with the current model of the periodic table, there were many scientists before him as well as after him that contributed their ideas that developed the periodic table we know of and use today. Henning Brand in 1649 was an early alchemist who began using the chemicals in urine to try to create gold and silver out of cheap metals like lead. He discovered that phosphorus, which he separated from the urine, glowed green. Hey, can come join up? Because going down, you need to have the same valence electrons. Oh, okay. Going down. A.E. Begayer de Conchortis in 1817 listed elements in a cylindrical order based upon atomic mass. He published a paper over his findings, but he never published his graph. It was largely ignored as it was written in terms of geology. There's two reads. Johann de Bournier in 1862 proposed the concept of triads when he found sequences in atoms in ranges of three based on atomic masses while trying to come up with cures for diseases such as rabies. John Newlands in 1863 was able to classify 56 known elements into 11 groups which repeated similarities after every eighth element. He is credited with the law of octaves. Lothar Meyer in 1864 found that groups had similar physical and chemical properties. He developed the shorthand version of the table showing half of the known elements. He listed them by atomic masses and chemical behaviors. We're doing it by atomic number, guys. Throwing that out. Dmitry Mendeleev in 1869 rearranged the elements in order of their properties. He was able to determine similar properties based upon their valence, valences. He correctly listed the 63 known elements at the time and left gaps in the table for future element discoveries. He was honored by having a moon's crater as well as discovery of a future element, Mendelevium, named after him. Lord Raleigh in 1895 discovered argon and found that it did not fit into the current group structure. He proposed a new group that was unreactive, later to be called the noble gases. He is also known for understanding and explaining why the Earth's sky is blue. This is known as the Raleigh scattering phenomenon. Oxygen is eight. Okay, let's start back. Okay. It's seven. It's fifteen. Who has nine? Ernest Rutherford in 1911 studied the atom's nuclei, which led to the discovery of the proton. He is credited with being the first to split the atom. Henry Mosley in 1913 found that the physics as well as the chemical properties were evident based upon their placement in the periodic table. He published the results of X-ray wavelengths of elements showing the atoms are arranged by atomic number. We're doing it by two rings here and then each electron that it has will go down. Glenn Seaborg in 1940 discovered plutonium and all the elements from number 94 to 102. He moved these elements to the two rows below the main table and called them lithionides and astenides. He co-authored the discovery of ten elements, some of which were named americonium, californium, einsteinium, and he honored Mendeleev with element 101 named mendelevium. Tell me in which way did you guys organize this? We put it in categories and uh, columns, rows, um, going up and down. It was the numbers that were on the outside, like there's one with the valence electrons, there's one valence electron on the outside, this one has two. And then going this way, we did it on the number of rings, which this one has one ring, two, uh, three, and four. We put it to where like two rings on this row, three rings filled up on this row. And then... Is that